less so with COVID than it would be with HIV. Mm. Yeah. So we understood that it was a, that it's really important to develop new HIV prevention choices for particularly for women, and that's because about 59% of new HIV infections in sub-Saharan Africa are occurring in women, and young women in particular are worst affected. So young women aged 15 to 24 have sometimes two, three times the rate of new a HIV infections compared to their male counterparts, uh, and for and a number of the challenges that women articulate is that the current pre-exposure prophylaxis, which is using an antiretroviral to prevent HIV sort of prior to sexual activity, that that uh, current PrEP, which is a daily oral pill, is associated with a number of challenges. It's hard to take a pill a day, but also young women experience judgments about their sexual activity. So in the study that we did, we looked at a new antiretroviral called cabotegravir that can be administered as an eight-weekly injection, uh, and we compared that to the existing daily oral Truvada. We enrolled over 3,200 women in 20 sites in seven countries in sub-Saharan Africa. So in addition to South Africa, we also enrolled participants in Eswatini, in Kenya, in Botswana, in Uganda, in Zimbabwe, and Malawi. Participants, when they joined the study, they received either sort of the active cabotegravir and a dummy Truvada, or the active uh, Truvada and uh, a dummy cabotegravir. And then we followed those people up and we compared the rate of HIV infection in the two groups. And what we saw is that the people who received cabotegravir uh, had um, basically um, only four infections compared to 34 in the Truvada arm and what that told us that was that Capitagravir was nine times more effective in preventing HIV than Truvada and we think it's because uh, Capitagravir is discreet, it's convenient, you only have to come to the clinic every eight weeks and it overcame some of the challenges that people experience with a daily pill. Since well, I'm on PrEP using the pills, like I feel so happy that right now I'm going to transform from using the PrEP to using the injectable, like it's an amazing thing. Cause like with PrEP, you have to remember that, oh, today I have to take the PrEP. And with myself, as I'm working in the mobile clinic, sometimes I get home very late. So I still have to take the PrEP. So with injection i know that it's in my body it's something that i move around with rather than moving around with the <laughs> thing the sound of the pills yeah so i'm very happy yeah huh? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what do you think about that it's, it's going to save some